Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 120 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In episode 72 of Lightroom Quick Tips, I gave you some tips on removing chromatic aberration in an image. And in that episode, I went into excruciating detail about what chromatic aberration is and specifically what causes it and things like that. Now, I won't do that in this episode, but Below this video in the description will be a link to episode 72 and I encourage you to watch it if you haven't already. In this episode, in keeping with my recent obsession with the Alt and Option key, I will show you some tips on removing chromatic aberration from an image with the help of that Alt Option key. Now specifically, I used this exact same image in episode 72 and if you zoom in, you could see that there's this little fringing going on here. You can see it looks a little bit bluish, and that is chromatic aberration. And often it could be any color, but it's usually purple or green. In this uh, image here, as I mentioned, it's a little more blue. Anyway, to remove chromatic aberration, you would go to Lens Corrections, and you would make sure that you click on Remove Chromatic Aberration. That usually doesn't do it, though. You have to go over here to the Manual tab and you have these sliders. And in episode 72, I demonstrated how to remove it with the eyedropper. In this episode though, again, I'm going to show you some tips with that Alt Option key. Now it's Alt if you have a PC, Option if you have a Mac. And the first thing you'll be presented with are these four sliders. Amount, Purple Hue, then Amount again, and Green Hue. Of course the amounts are for the Purple Hue and the Green Hue. Now, if you just move the Amount slider up or down, chances are you're not going to see much. And I do suggest that you zoom in when you're doing these adjustments. And you really don't see much. But if you hold in that Alter Option key and you move the Amount slider, you'll see the screen turns white and you'll start to see, you'll be able to visually see what Lightroom is seeing as the fringe. And it's seeing some fringe over here. Now that's kind of cool. So we have an idea that there's some fringe in this uh, chromatic aberration fringing going on in this image. Now, as far as the purple hue slider, we have these two sliders involved on this slider and the green hue as well. And between those two sliders are the band of views or the range of views that the amount slider is going to affect. And you could make the range larger or smaller by moving them closer or further apart, of course. If you just click in the middle of them, uh, you could move them together as a whole and you'll keep that range intact. Now, uh, in this, with this group of sliders, or this purple hue slider, if I hold in that Alter Option key in and then press in, you'll notice that as I move to the left, I get this black ring. It's actually showing me what, where the fringe is by coloring it black. Now well, that's pretty cool. So you get a visual represent representation of what the fringe is, at least a better visual representation you have than just trying to look at the fringe on your own. Now then you could come back up to the amount slider and kind of fine tune it if needed. Now one thing you might notice is when I click down here, you can see that there's some black down in here. So um, the, the defringe tool is thinking that there's some fringing going on down here where there isn't. If I zoom out and I hold that Alter Option key and click in, you can see it's up here. But that usually isn't something to be too worried about because the way the defringe tool works, it looks for a high contrast edge and it only really applies itself to a high contrast edge. Up here though, isn't really a high contrast edge, so it really won't be doing anything to these pixels up in the top right hand corner of this image. So you could be rest assured that you're just probably going to be affecting the fringe. Now you can try narrowing your band of hues by moving the sliders closer together and see what that happens. You know, see what happens with that or if it makes it worse or better. But you can see as I move this one to the right, I'm losing the fringe. So you want to make sure that you gain that fringe, that that fringe is being accounted for. Pretty much like that. So that, as you can see, removed the fringe. Now if I turn 
the lens correction tab off. There's before. Hopefully you can see it. If you're not watching this video in HD, uh, click the little gear in the right bottom right hand corner and uh, make sure you're in HD and you'll probably be more apt to see this. So there's the before with the fringe and there is the after so it removed the fringe. So again you could do that with the amount and green U sliders as well down here. Hold that in and it's really not going to find any fringe here because there isn't any per se of that color and now it's just really there but there's nothing there. So that's how you could use that Alt or Option key. Again, it's Alt if you have a PC, Option if you have a Mac, to maybe help you better remove chromatic aberration from your image. So again, episode 72 will be linked in the description below this video. I encourage you to watch that if you haven't already. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.